Black Lives Matter. This is a huge social movement all across the world after the murder of George Floyd. Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, even people that shouldn't. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're somebody who believes in Darwinian evolution, if you're somebody that believes in the naturalistic paradigm, you can't say black lives are equal to white lives. That's complete nonsense. Darwin never believed that. Darwin didn't think that black people were equal to white people. In fact, he believed that black people were going to be wiped out by the civilized races in the near future. And it's not just the case, oh yeah, people back then were racist and Darwin was racist, so therefore it's excusable. It's never excusable if everybody else is racist, therefore he's racist. But you have to remember he was racist because of his theory, not just because he was a product of an environment that was actually racist. And in fact, Darwinian evolution and even Darwinists today, they hold these very dangerous views, such as James Watson. James Watson is a evolutionary biologist who won the Nobel Prize for discovering the structure of DNA. And he believes black people are not equal to white people. He believes that actually the reason why our policies in Africa won't work so much is because we have this assumption that they're equal. When in reality, anybody who's had black employees knows that's not true, according to him. So, this idea that Black Lives Matter and atheist skeptics, naturalists can jump on the bandwagon and also start waving their flags, you guys need to wake up and smell the coffee. You've got a lot of explanation to do, and if you want to look into the social causes of this injustice against the black communities, then we need to recognize one of the causes is Darwinian science, Darwinian evolutionary biology. I don't mean just an an average biologist, but I mean the hardcore Darwinian understanding as applied to human societies.